So hey y'all, I'm back again. I've got another video for you guys. One of my favorite looks, which is a halo eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do that. As you can see, I've already done my foundation, my highlight, my eyebrows on fleek. Um, I'm gonna do this using my subculture palette. I told you guys like I'm a collector of limited edition stuff, but and or anything Anastasia anyways. Just know I got the subculture palette. The Modern Renaissance, the Makeup by Mario, the Prism, I got them all. I'm a really, really, really big fan of Anastasia and her products. So, we're going to go right into how I do my halo eye. And this is going to be a green halo eye. So, it's going to be something nice for fall. I'm trying to give you guys some nice fall looks. Or like I said, you can do, col you can do colors whenever you want. I'm just telling you when I would do them. And I'm going to do my same transition colors that I always use that I showed you guys in the last video or I showed you in a video or I'll show you in another video. But you'll see this these two colors a lot, which is my saddle and my brown script. And so I have my brush portfolio that I got from the amazing Priscilla Uno. If you guys don't follow her, she's like Amber Rose makeup artist. She's sponsored by a lot of big companies. So I follow her and I celebrate her. And I encourage you guys to follow her as well. So I'm going to use my, my MAC blender brush and my Sigma blender brush to accomplish these first two looks. So I'm going to start off with my MAC 224 brush and my saddle eyeshadow. And I'm just going to put that saddle again underneath my eyes, but not in my crease. So I've already actually, as you can see, I've already primed and set my lid. So I primed it with concealer and then I set it with my Laura Mercier setting powder so it doesn't crease and it's not getting all wrinkly once I actually put the powder on there nice and dry because if you, you put the concealer on there and you try to put it on there nine times out of ten like when you like blanking and stuff you'll see like the creases in between and you don't really want that it's just not a good look people it's just not a good look so here we go i'll start with my transition colors and because i'm still trying to give you guys like my my cheat sheet that i use for a lot of stuff i'm going to go ahead and pull out my tape and I'm going to put the tape on there on both sides. And like I said, you just, I, I use the tape. This is my little cheat sheet right here. These are the answers to the test. So if you guys need them, I got them. All right. All right. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. All right. So I come in here and I'm just doing my transition colors underneath my brow. That's grace. I do the same thing on this side. And transition, transition. Hey. I'm gonna try to make these videos short and sweet for y'all. But um honestly, like I told you guys before, do doing your makeup takes time. And like if you want it good and you want it to look good and you're not trying to look like you just Put your makeup on in five minutes. Just understand it's gonna take some time, so give yourself time to be, to do your makeup and to be awesome and to go be great and have people be like, ooh, who did your makeup? And you're like, bitch, me. Playing makeup. I like to talk about makeup. I like to talk about girls who. All right, so I got my transition colors on there. My MAC, my saddle and my brown script to give my eyes some depth and I'm not gonna use too much. I just don't want my eyes to look flat. I'm gonna put in this color that's called Tamed. All right, so it's a dark green, but it's not too dark. It's, but it's gonna, it's gonna help me with the, to make a nice halo. And, I don't, and I'm going out to my outer corner first. I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides. Oh. That's a good feeling. When you put that on there, that thing just be popping. You ain't do nothing. Ooh, hey. And then I, hey. And then I get it. Let's see my grace. And then I get it. My race. Right. 
Same thing, I'm coming in the corner for it. All right, so we got this going, we got this going, and that's cake. All right, so I'm taking that same color, going back in with my same brush, and the subculture palette, I'm not gonna lie, it does have a lot of fallout, but the, I mean, it's super pigmented, so. Y'all see that? And so you see like the halo is going to go right there in that space that we left nice and empty. Do the same thing on this side. I'm coming to the inner corner. I mean, this color is popping. It really is. This color is like... Ooh, it's that heat. My bitch is bad and bougie. Hey, that's it. And this concealer on here. And I'm putting this concealer on right where I want to put my halo color. It's going to be my shiny color. And this is just going to allow that color to stick a little bit better. Even though I already had some concealer on there, I just need to make sure my color is popping. Especially with this... Um, this color electric because it looks a little yellow so it doesn't it doesn't really look gold so I might just add like a pressed pigment on top of it no shade I love you but I really need my eyes to pop if I'm rocking a halo so there we go there we go there we go there we go I don't want to do too much because I still need to blend all of this out so you see I put the concealer on there Remember those walls I build. Oh, y'all know the song. I can see your halo. And then we're going to push through with this halo real fast. And I'm just going to use the other side of my Urban Decay blender brush. And I'm going to come in with the color electric. Woogie, 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 woogie. There we go. Actually, I was doing the electric slide yesterday, y'all. And I had fun. I still remember how to do it. All right, like I said, this color, you're really going to have to build, 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 build because it kind of looks yellowish a little bit. And you want to you want it to have its original color, what it was intended to be. So I'm going to put some of this on there. I'm going to blend it out. And then I'm going to go in with my pressed pigment. You gotta feel it. Hang on both sides. So I'm coming back in with my blender brush that I used earlier to put my transition color on. And it doesn't have like um, a lot of color on there. And I'm gonna blend out this look with that. I don't wanna have any harsh lines. Um, so for under the eye, take that same brush that I use to put the electric on. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use a, a color that's in this palette called Axis. So it's kind of a greenish blue, but it fits the concept of what I'm going with. So I'm gonna take that color and that's gonna be what I go under my eye with. This is gonna suck because I already did my foundation, but I just gotta be careful. Y'all see it? And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And that's it, my liner right now. And y'all know, I love me a nice wing liner. Y'all know I do, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys how I do a wing liner. You guys have already seen it before, so I'll probably speed through this for y'all to save y'all some time. But I'm going to do it with a different brush this time. Same exact concept, though. I come through. I start in the middle. All my niggas at my table want to eat. Let's see how crisp that looks like. Don't worry about the tape line. I can 
you know, I'll take my, um, my brush, my little buffing brush, and I can buff that out. You know, so don't get caught up. Don't worry about that. That's a distraction. Stay woke. Don't let that distract you. You can get that. And then you just take your liner. And I probably won't do a wing just because it's already super dark. But I definitely want to have a liner on my lid. It's all good. And this is my nice little halo. I'm going to put my lashes on and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay, so here's the final look with my lashes on. My halo is popping. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys got any questions. If you want to know how I did my lashes, there's a video already posted so you guys can take a look at it and see how that goes. And let me know how it works out for you. Um, take a picture. My